Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this video, we will discuss how to switch manual to automation profile. So first of all, guys, in the current market, what a skill set is required? You know, this is mandatory. So in this video, I will tell you complete roadmap within two, three, and you have to give four months how you are learning. It totally depends upon you. Okay, but two and three months. Okay, so what happened? So many of them, you guys are manual tester, but you don't know how to start. So in this video, I will give you the complete roadmap to, you know, how to upgrade your skill set as automation test engineer and how much experience you have to show. Okay, so first of all, if you are a manual tester and definitely you have to upgrade your skills in your automation testing right so many of them are uh, trying but they're not getting how to start so first you have to select any programming language so still here we have a confusion the confusion is i means which language i have to select either i have to go java python or javascript so we have a three language most popular okay so if you are a beginner either you can select java or either you can select python if i am in your place right so i don't know what is object oriented programming language and definitely i will select java okay so so see what happened the people are completely confused right so someone is going to tell you hey we don't have a we're not getting calls in your java we're not getting the calls in the python or not getting the calls in the javascript so what happened you are not much means you are not learning the things in the depth and you are moving moving in your different language please do not do it okay select any programming language what you like okay learn in the depth so many of them i have seen uh, they are good in the selenium but they are not good in the programming okay so what happened in automation testing interview mostly company they are going to focus on your programming skills if you are not good in the programming they will not select you okay so first of all guys please make a habit to practice the coding skills if you're not good in the coding then it's a very difficult to become an automation test engineer when i say automation test engineer means you are a developer you are going to implement the things from the scratch you are writing the methods right so you are you have to do the preparation like the development understood right so select any programming language either you can go for java python or javascript i will recommend you can go for the java then ui framework so you can select definitely selenium so many of them are confused i should go for playwright or i should go for uh, java selenium okay so see what happened so if you learn java selenium that is the starting of your automation part okay automation testing world okay if you know the playwright you are starting that is also fine but here you have a strong uh, basics so i am a java selenium resources and company hired on the java selenium and they have given the python uh, some of the project i worked with the python some of the project i worked with the javascript it will take two weeks time to learn other programming language why because i am good in the java selenium understood right so if you are a beginner i will recommend you please go for java selenium then you can learn cucumber framework as well okay then what you have to learn so java selenium cucumber this is your api so this is your ui part right then you have uh, some basics knowledge of devops tools like git and jenkins okay so again the people are confused here so you have uh, some basics knowledge should not go for the depth complete you are doing r and d and all that not required okay so learn basics of git and jenkins if you are familiar with that in next right so you have to go for the next level right but if, if you are a beginner go for that okay 
then you right now company is also looking for you have a, some knowledge of your cloud either you can go for aws either azure or uh, gcp means google cloud okay understood right so this is the ui part is ready for you okay so now other things very important so whatever the project i am seeing like every project now having the api validation so many of them you are searching the job but you don't you are not going to mention your api skills right if you will not mention your api skill in your resume you will never get your calls you will get the calls very rare right so you have to also learn api testing so many of them are confused how to start so you can just go for the basics of the api the company you no know, api you know component i have already uploading many videos on the api testing for interview question and answer you can go and you can watch it but as a beginner directly you cannot go for api interview question first of all you have to learn the basics okay so basics api is required you can learn postman and slowly you can move in your rest assured library so what happened if you have a this skill set so what happened now the problem will come while learning so what happened the many of them are struggling the people already done the courses but they are not confident why you are not confident either you are not following the proper resources or either you are not doing the proper practice okay so both both things are important first of all you have to uh, you know learn you know you have to find the proper resources and you have to do the practice daily if you are working one hours you can spend daily three months forget about everything and after three months you can you can uh, reach out to me and how you are good in automation you will realize but you have to find the proper resources guys okay so we are also providing online training if you are interested you can reach out to us we have a community group where we are posting job requirement as well i will give you the link if you are not able to find it you can comment below and definitely i will reply back to you okay so suppose you are not you don't want to spend lot of money and all you can go youtube courses you can go for udemy courses so many contents are available so but i have observed many things in the automation especially automation course they are not going to teach you know programming in the depth suppose you are selecting any udemy courses and you have already done it but i will ask you the cross question you are not able to do it okay so i will not going to force you to join my classes but yes if you will join right so after completing the course you can so your i mean so your your profile you, you, i will make your profile as automation test engineer how we are working in the real time okay as your bis you can follow the many udemy courses are there but drawback of the udemy courses what i have observed uh, their courses are their huge contents are there but they are not going to have in the systematics way so they have started directly from the selenium they did not teach uh, programming in the depth if you are not good in the programming you are able to write the code you are able to execute but you are not able to explain understood right so these are the skill set is required in your current market after that prepare your resume properly you are not preparing your resume so how to prepare your resume we'll have a number of the mock interviews right so if you are interested you can join in our community we will give you some guidance we have a some free guidance we have a some paid guidance as your wish but we uh, we will support you guys okay then after that update your profile on your nokri and linkedin and you can keep updating keep following definitely will get the interview calls also attend the interview and see what where are you lacking keep attending the interview and one day you have offer letter okay so thank you so much for watching this video we are we are doing lot of hard work to deliver this content guys so if you like this video please subscribe and share with your friend see you in the next video see you bye bye